Hi, my name is Jonathan Price. I'm a 3D artist at Chaotic Moon, and this is Shark Punch. So how did this idea come about using the Oculus in this way? Well, we wanted to marry the Oculus with the Leap Motion Controller. And so we started with a project that uh, was a classroom learning project. So you're in a virtual classroom, uh, you build a water molecule, the classroom fills up with water, and you end up in the ocean. And every time people ended up in the ocean, they were trying to interact with the fish and all the other uh, aquatic life we had in the scene, which you couldn't do at that point. And so somebody said, well, why can't I like touch the fish or punch a shark or something? And when we heard somebody say punch a shark, we said, we can do that. We can make a shark punching simulator. <laughs> so that's what we did. So talk about the actual technology and how you're utilizing it. Okay, so the Leap Motion Controller is uh, attached to the front of the Oculus. Uh, it tracks your hands. So it's got a kind of a short range, but it will track both hands and track uh, forward and backwards, side to side. And then you have a full 360 degree motion with the, uh, with the uh, Oculus Rift. So you put those two things together, you can turn your body around, look everywhere you want, and then when you see that shark coming, you can reach out and punch him. And he explodes in our game, uh, which we thought would be more, more fun <laughs> than just turning away, you know. But, but that, that's, that was the basic idea. We wanted to create an immersive environment that makes you feel like you're underwater, and it actually, it actually panics most people that play it. They don't, they don't like a shark coming at them. In fact, our CEO, uh, will not play past the first shark. He will put it down. He does. It scares him too much. So it's good times. How easy is it to develop for the Oculus? Um, well, at this point, we already have a pretty good pipeline set up to develop for the Oculus. Um, it's really just rendering a bicameral system. We're using Unity uh, right now. So Shark Punch was developed in Unity completely uh, with a bicameral system. And it, it, it's, it's just like making any other game, only you have two cameras rendering the scene. What are your thoughts? Because Oculus is the first of several different VR technologies that will be coming out over the next year or two. What are your thoughts on VR and the future of video games? If it's accessible to the casual gamer, to the average gamer even, I think, I think it has a place. Um, it's a matter of developers making something that is worth using the Oculus for, and we've seen all we've seen a lot of the demos. There's the there's a really good one with um, uh, uh, oh gosh, what's the game? Um, uh, dog fighting game? The no, 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 it's the the sort. I'm I'm totally failing with my gamer roots here. Uh, it's it's the uh, um, oh I totally I totally failed. It's what's the name of that game? Anyway, it's sort it's swords and sorcery and all that stuff and the guy's got to ask you a question again so we don't have that yeah, gap yeah. That yeah 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 so 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 what are your thoughts about uh, virtual reality as we have oculus and several other devices come out over the next two years i think as long as uh, the oculus and those new devices and i'm in, really interested to see you know with the razor and to see what valve is doing and to see what oculus is doing if they make that more available to the consumer and it's easy to grab as long as developers can you know develop something that utilizes the oculus or vr in any way that makes it have a purpose you know motion controlling for the for the wii or even for this for the playstation 3 a lot of those games didn't have a, didn't really have a lot of reason to, to track motion but with vr you have a you have 360 degrees in all directions to to move and to keep track of the action or do whatever you want and if you and if you can then apply a natural way to interact whether it's with motion tracking like a connect or leap motion or or even uh, you know a handheld joystick um, I think uh, I think there's definitely potential there more than there more now than there ever has been for sure